Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is mark the center of this element so we know where to hook it on. Since it's 40 inches long, I'm going to mark it at 20 inches. And I'm going to use this felt tip pin to mark it. I'm going to mark it all the way around. So now I have a center mark. So now we can go ahead and attach the real element here to this bracket that we've made. I'm going to put it in here so that that mark is in the center and tighten it down. Okay, the next thing is uh, let's go ahead and put the screws on this little strap that we made. Oops, I got the wrong size nut there. Let me get the correct size nut for this other screw. somewhat like the first one that I made. So it's going to have to go on the side where the SO239 connectors on. So let's just uh, eyeball it right there. And then the gamma tube will go in here. These will all have to be readjusted once everything's assembled. Okay, and the only other thing we've got before we actually have a functioning antenna is the wire that goes from the SO239 into the gamma tube capacitor, so it makes the capacitor. And I've got some wire here. I'll uh, measure out what I did on my prototype and cut off a piece and we'll assemble it. Okay, I went out and I measured my prototype and I found that it had to be about four and eight inches long. Again, this will vary depending on how you make it. Okay, one of the keys to this is that it needs to be a fairly tight fit in here because it's going to form a capacitor. So the insulation on the wires, the dielectric, and this tube is one plate and the inner wire is another plate and this is this just happens to be a stranded wire fairly heavy duty the last one I did I used a small piece of coax and used the outer shield on the coax as the wire okay let's get this soldered up okay, I'm going to cut off a little bit of insulation here This insulation is really tough. There. And I'm going to pre tin this.
Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pre tin the SO239 connector as well. This wire in the tube and I'm going to solder it on the SO239 except I'm going to hold it with a pair of pliers because it's pretty hot still. Okay, we have a antenna that's almost functioning. The next thing to do is actually hook it up and tune it. The whole assembly is there.